You, you gotta eat, eat here. here. I think they picked a great name with calling it home skillet. It's like the happiest place on earth. It blows your mind. I like my eggs cooked more than that. It's not easy. <laughs> Burger bar is a great spot to go to. The best burgers in Montreal. It's just so gourmet. You just gotta like slam down in order to get in your mouth. I <laughs> can't. We're the Combine Eater. It's a phenomenal place in Toronto. It's comfort food. Yeah. It's tasty, it's comfort, it's fresh. Seems like I'm gonna be doing a lot of things today. <laughs> he laughs, but he didn't say no. <laughs> I'm John Catucci. Listen, I'm no chef, but I know great food when I eat it. And these joints are cooking it right. That's why I'm telling you. You gotta eat here. Home Skillet in Bellingham, Washington is one of those places you gotta see to believe. Kirby works the grill, Tina works the room, and Ms. Jones works the... What exactly do you do here? Oh, it's good work if you can get it. You gotta eat here. Home Skillet is a great little neighborhood place. Lots of fun, <laughs> a little wild, and great food. You don't just eat amazing food, it's like an event. It's almost like Disneyland. It's like the happiest place on earth. Barnyard up. It's amazing. Sausage gravy. There's some ham, bacon, some eggs. You got the chicken fried steak in there. I want to eat. Alrighty, my dear. Here's your biscuits and gravy. Sausage gravy is one of my favorite things in the world. It's got chunks of sausage in it. Punches you in the mouth, but then it hugs you because nice. you're so happy. <laughs> mm. Caddy melt up. It's my dream burger. Layered in between a cinnamon roll that's turned into French toast. Yeah, breakfast and lunch all put together. It blows your mind. <laughs> Both of us were self-employed at the time. Tina was an artist. We just decided to uh, jump in and open a restaurant and just kind of say, what the heck, why not? First dish is going to be the caddy melt. What do we do first? Make cinnamon rolls. All-purpose flour, gluten flour, salt, sugar, yeast. Incorporate all of those dries, whole eggs, vanilla. Give that a swirl. And then next, the butter, buttermilk, and water. There you go. Just keep turning and kneading. I like doing it by hand. OK, get in there. See? That's all you got to do. I did most of it. <laughs> Cover it up and let it proof for an hour. Roll it out. Do a good job. Slather some butter. Mush it down and just... There you there go. There it is. Put a filling in it. White sugar, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Roll it up. Fabulous. Is it? Oh, yeah, you're hired. Let's cut these yeah. things. Off to the proofer. Half an hour or so. So these are the proof buns. Yep. Pop in the oven. 15 minutes. At three and a quarter. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to French toast them up. Slice in half. Dip them in batter. Egg and milk. Sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Slop them on a grill. This is just ground chuck. And no filler. Just slap that guy on. The seasoning is a mix of salt, paprika, mustard, pepper, thyme. Throw some ham and some bacon on the flat top. Potato nuggets. Looking like French toast. But I want to use them as a bun. Yeah. Give that a flip of cheese on the ham. Let's build this thing. Patty on top. Bring the bacon over. Let's bring some bacon over. Ham and some cheese. Bun. Tots. A little bit of seasoning. Runaway tots. Runaway, Runaway tots. tots. A little sweet chili jam. This is our caddy melt. Mm -hmm. That's savory, fluffy, and sweet. Tots on the side, ultimate. Oh, it's so yummy. You get the cinnamon, the sugar, it's doughy, and a nice little crisp on it, too. Just that as a French toast, I would love. But then you get this really savory bacon cheeseburger. Add ham on top of it, so you get that sweet, salty, savory thing happening all together. I'm going to have a tot. When you fry it up, you get all these crispy bits. I like this. That's a whole lot of love. It hurts your head a bit. There's a lot of flavors in there. Yeah. You got to eat here because it's a one-of-a-kind experience. I love the atmosphere. I love the people and all of the decorations. That's all Tina. There's carrots painted on the table. How can you not love that? Salmon hash, yep. You get the smoked salmon, tender. It's moist. And then the potato. Oh, God, it's so good. Poutine up. Not a Canadian poutine. It's not French fries. It's like home fries. Right. Sausage gravy. And then it's not cheese curds. Washington style poutine. Sorry, Canada. <laughs> pulled pork up. Pulled pork top hash and This barbecue pulled pork is the best I've ever had. He smokes it all himself. The crispiness of the tots, little caramelized onion. Douse it with their homemade sauces. It's true love. Let's do some pulled pork. For the pulled pork, tot hash. A real simple basic rub. Brown sugar, granulated onion and garlic, salt, and paprika. Mix up. You got a pork shoulder. Dump it on top. Rub top and bottom. Let this sit overnight. You have stuff that's ready to go in the smoker? I do. We are using apple and hickory for eight hours. Let's take a look. Beautiful. I want that. OK. <sighs> that's gorgeous. Cider vinegar. Let all that cook in, and the juices and everything are going to incorporate. Put it in our slow cooking oven. 12 hours at 250. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's good. All right. Shred it up. Wow. That is so tender. So that's that. Make me some pulled pork tot hash. Start off with some tots. 30 seconds-ish. OK. They're looking good. On the flat top. Whoosh. Whoosh down, eh? Yellow onions in there. Our pork. Such a wonderful Did job. Did a great job. Okay. Did a great job. Put in a skillet. How do you like your eggs? Over easy. I like my eggs cooked a little more than that. It's not easy. <laughs> 
here we go. Yeah. Build the plate. Eggs on top. Eggs. Give it a little color. Pulled pork tot hash. And that's what I'm talking about. All of the things the universe created to make me happy. Just wonderful. This is our homemade barbecue sauce. You just got to get in there and get down and dirty. Pack that egg. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so yummy. That pulled pork, it's so tender. You can taste the smoke, but it's not overpowering. You get all these crispy bits from the tots. That yolk mixes in with the barbecue sauce, and that's so delicious. What does the home skillet mean to Bellingham? You come here for a social event in our community. I think they picked a great name for calling it home skillet. It feels like home. It does fix a little hole in your heart. Meet your up. Look what I found in the mansion. Whoa. A burrito with everything in it and pork chili verde. Mm. Meat and veggie skillet. Mixture of vegetables, meat, and egg. Melted cheese on top. It's delicious. Is he like a mad scientist in the kitchen? He's crazy. He's fun, and he's got a passion for food. Hot green mess up. We got mac and cheese on the bottom here. The green chili sauce absolutely out yeah. of this world. Never in my life would I have put those ingredients together, but it's fantastic. Next, hot green mess. Should I be scared? You might want to run away, but come back. <laughs> I said come back. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> First, let's make pork green chili. Pork, give that a quick stir. Throw in some salt and pepper. Stir a boat. Stir a boat. <laughs> Saute onion, cumin, garlic powder, oregano leaves, and chili. Salsa verde. Tomatillo, tomatoes, green chilies. This is going to kill me. <laughs> let's make some root. Butter, flour, cook for a short time. Okay, okay. This is milk, get up to temperature. Next are gonna be our spices. White pepper, granulated garlic, onion, salt. All right, then all of that root. Blue cheese thickens up quickly. Yeah, here she goes. White sauce, jack cheese, and cheddar. Facili pasta. Oh, look at that. Do that again. Look at it. Just, oh, are we ready to build a plate? I've done so he much. It has worked pretty hard. Right? Our mac and cheese, potato tots, pork green chili, some cheese, cheese crispies. Fried cheese on a flat top, our hot green mints. Mm. The flavors just combine together so well. Tangy, tart, wonderful, and spicy. It's amazing. Ooh, that is yummy. That is a rich <laughs> mac and cheese. That blue cheese adds a little tanginess. It kind of cuts through the other cheeses. <laughs> and the chili itself, there's definitely some heat, some tanginess, too. Friends, if you see something called the hot mess, that's the one you want. That advice does not apply to dating, only breakfasts. You gotta eat here. <laughs> Burgo Bar is a great place. No one's able to replicate what they do here. The burger, oh my god, it's amazing. Just gonna go right here like this. Come on. Wish me luck. So what do you get when you put a fine dining chef in a burger joint? Montreal's Burger Bar, that's what. Where the burgers get topped with fragois, French brie, or a port reduction. They've really set the burger bar high with this place. It's a burger bar, but they sit the bar. It's a wordplay. Burger Bar is a great place, and everything here is homemade. It's just so gourmet. Besides the food being amazing, it's the place to be. Before going to a movie, before going to a play, you really want to come here first. You can tell that someone put the heart and soul into it, and then you eat the food, and it's so good. It's always cooked to perfection. They usually serve it a little bit rare, and I love that. Captain Nemo! What other burger joint could you get seared tuna? The smoked bacon gives a little bit of a crunch, fried egg, and then the avocado freshens it out. Really amazing. Super Sonic? You got this awesome beef, spicy mayo the hot peppers. It gives this kick. Jeez. <laughs> when is the last time you ate? <laughs> Big Blue. What is it about the Big Blue that you love? Blue cheese. I love the stinky. Oh, man. Nice porter reduction. And the crunch with the chips. It's really something special. We are going to do our signature burger, which is the uh, Big Blue. First, that comfy tomatoes. Blanch them. When you start seeing the skins crack, plunge them into some ice water. The skins can come off really easily. Slice in half into the pan. Mix of olive oil and canola. Garlic puree. It doesn't have to be perfect. You've got the right person, because it's not going to. Oregano. Okay. Salt and pepper as well. And then those guys are ready to be roasted. Three hours at 250. Tomatoes should be ready. Oh, those are beautiful. Now we're gonna make barbecue chips. These are rusted potatoes. Drop them into the oil. Good 10 minutes, I'd say. Chips are done. Draining those chips, huh? Yeah. Got a good drain on. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue mix of spices, paprika, salt, pepper, garlic, maybe onion. Possible to shake. I'll shake it too hard, you're gonna break <gasps> them all. Oops. Ground beef, steak spice, and pepper. That's it. Confit tomatoes. Doing the flip. What kind of bun is this? It's a brioche recipe. So this is looking good. Blue cheese. We'll flash in the salamander to melt it. We got our bread, the ranch dressing first, sour cream, mayonnaise, garlic, parsley. The cheese is melted. Get the patty on. Confit tomatoes. Porto reduction. Onion rings. And this is the tricky part because you gotta stack your potato chips, the arugula, along with the top bun. Grab a little spike, jab it all the way through. A green salad, citrus dressing. This is the blue burger. <laughs> 
flavor is outstanding. It covers the entire surface of your mouth. To go with a burger, I don't think anything pairs better than a blue cheese. That is such a yummy burger. It's just beef. There's no egg, there's no breadcrumb, which is lovely. The patty is just so juicy. You get that nice crust from that flat top, and then you get the nice crunch from the barbecue chips. You have to like blue cheese. You have to like The confit tomatoes fall apart in your mouth. The port reduction adds a sweetness. All of it works. The stinkier the cheese, the better. My favorite thing about Burger Bar is that it has the comfort of a burger joint, but it also has a chef-driven menu. Fun, fun feeling in this restaurant. The staff super friendly, super courteous. They're bringing you napkins before you even ask. Nice. Because you'll need napkins. Well, see, I bring my own napkin. That's a pro tip right there. Chicks dig it. It's a chicken burger, incredibly juicy. It comes with a lot of avocado, nice and light with the crisp of the bun. Smoked meat poutine. The full Montreal experience of the smoked meat and the poutine merged in the perfect way where they remain balanced. Foie gras and shroom. You're fancying it up today, aren't you? It's foie gras. Of foie. course it's fancy. It's softer than a filet mignon. It's the most tender meat you could imagine. <gasps> oh my god, I can't even breathe. I can't wait. Classic French ingredients and putting them into a burger. Season up the foie gras. It's fatty duck liver. Salt and pepper. Seared in a super hot pan. Cooked in the patty. Caramelized onions. And we'll also get the mushrooms going. Butter, oyster mushrooms, fingerangis, maitakis, and shiitake. Shallots. The balsamic reduction. The oh. broth. The chives. We're done. This is going to smoke. It may even catch fire. That's all right. <laughs> burger is ready to flip. Drop the French fries and onion rings. Blends are down. Done. Fries are good. Seasoned with a little bit of salt. Red is ready. Caramelized onions. We have our patty. Mushrooms. Drop them all over that. Poutine gravy. Foie gras. Try balsamic. And then pop it off with the arugula again. Onion rings on top of the burger. And then fries. Here. Fried. This is the foie gras and shroom burger. The melody of flavors of mushrooms, the juices are running. It's like nothing I've ever tasted. Mm. This burger can be described as decadent. You get that delicious burger right off the bat. The foie gras is buttery, so full of flavor. It's got a little bit of a crisp around the edge, but the inside is smooth. I love mushrooms on a burger. Earthy, so much flavor. Caramelized onions add some sweetness. And there's just tons of gravy over top. My day's amazing. It just got a little bit better because of me. That and a foie gras burger. I'm living large. Chef Brian makes this place. He has this passion that you can really tell when you taste the burger, when you see the burger. No one's able to replicate what they do here. Gotta keep coming back. Samurai. It's salmon crusted with almonds. It has this ginger flair. It's crunchy. Could you imagine salmon crunchy? It's very, very special. Blue candy. The blue cheese playing off the savoriness of the meat. The pear, very sweet. The candied pecans, super tasty. What is your strategy when you eat this burger? You just gotta, like, slime. Calm down. No shame at all. <laughs> I think we're good here. Hangover. Oh, it has the kitchen sink on it. Craziest thing I've ever seen. You get the hamburger, you get the poutine, you get the fried egg. I'm ready for this. We are going to do a hangover. But first, we're going to do our house coleslaw. We have cabbage, onion, and carrots. Drop in cider vinegar, canola oil, relish, mustard, brown sugar, salt, and pepper. Tastes like an all-dressed hot dog. Really? Less looking good. Time to build a hangover burger. Burgers on. Let's grab these french fries and hack them in. They're good. Ladle so they'll float out. Flip bacon, caramelized onions. Put the bread on and get a fried egg going. You can get a little salt pepper on that guy. The magic is happening. Right now. I love it. American cheese, okay? Fries are good. Pull this ring off, bun off, right onto a plate. Caramelized onions, flat as possible because it gets stacked pretty high. Okay. Burger with the melted cheese, the bacon, and now comes the tricky part, the poutine. Go right here like this. Come on. Curds. Get those from Ontario? Obviously. Yep. BC curds. <laughs> poutine sauce. Hey, you know what this burger needs? A fried egg. A shot of truffle oil. Oh, you uh, are classy. Top it off with the bun. Coleslaw, and that is the hangover burger. Oh my god, it's like an explosion of flavor. It's so awesome. Everything you can ask for in one bite. Oh, mm, it's so good. Wish me luck. Here we go. I can't. Let's get in there. I did it, Ma! That's a fantastic burger. The patty is just so juicy and moist. I love that the poutine is a nest. You got great fries, cheese curds, nice and squeaky, classic poutine sauce. And I love when that yolk breaks. You add even more of a sauce. And then you just get this hint. You're like, what is that? The truffle oil on top of it. Super delicious. I'm going to go coleslaw. You weren't kidding. It does taste like an all-dressed hot dog. This is the classiest hangover I've ever had. You got to eat here. Combine is an amazing place. Homemade, southern comfort. Oh, man. It's delicious. Just different. It stands out. Still a little too big, but there you go. <laughs>
When you have a talent, you need to share it with the world. My talent is eating large amounts of food and still fitting into my jeans. You're welcome, world. Albert Chow's talent is making killer tacos, and he shares his talent at his Toronto restaurant, The Combine. You gotta eat here. Combine is a great place to bring your family, your friends. Anytime, the food is always great. Combine cob salad. I love how it comes in a taco bowl. It's piled high, tangy, and a little bit spicy. Afterwards, you have that deliciously crunchy taco. Everybody's gonna find something that they like. The meat lover, the seafood lover, the vegetarian. Southern comfort, homemade, and a lot of fun to eat. Sourdough fried rice. Fusion of Chinese fried rice and jambalaya, topped with crispy onions that I put. So called basa tacos. Breading is very light, crisp, with a nice crunch with the coleslaw. The most authentic fish tacos that I've had in the city. They're light, they're fluffy, and just, it's amazing. We do Southwest food. Uh, tacos, burritos, smoked barbecue, mac and cheese, just comfort food. Very cool. First dish we'll be doing is fried fish tacos. First step is to make our coleslaw. It's rice vinegar, lemon juice, mustard, green onion, jalapenos. Oh, you're gonna try to kill me. <laughs> Minced garlic, cilantro, salt, pepper, and sugar. Olive oil. How much more do we need, Albert? It's my you know what? It, there we go. We will oh, we'll go that. Don't stop because I'm lazy. Okay. Are you good? No, that's good. <laughs> Pour the dressing in here. You just got cabbage in here. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Coleslaw's done. We're going to do our bassa fillet. What is bassa? White, light fish. So here we have corn flour mixed with some salt and pepper. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> and they fry up for how long? Amen. Corn tortillas on the flat top. Cheese, mozzarella, and Monterey Jack. Coleslaw. The fish is ready now. Grab the tortillas and like this. Nice amount of fish, too. You don't mess around. Pico de gallo. We got tomatoes. Red onion. Jalapenos. Lime juice. Cilantro. Salt and pepper. House salad. Carrot and beet threads. Or lime crema on it. What is in the lime crema? Fresh lime juice and sour cream, coriander crust. Here we are, fried fish tacos. Mm, delicious, delicate fish. Crema has got some nice coolness to it. It's a great bite. Oh. Mm. oh my god, those are incredible. The fish is just done to perfection. And nice and flaky, and that dredge is nice and crispy and light. And then that pico just adds a nice freshness. A little bit of heat, but nothing overpowering. Right. And then that lime crema adds another brightness. The beautiful texture of the coleslaw, nice crunch to it. And I just love a fresh corn tortilla. I'm so happy right now, it's just so <laughs> delicious. We're at the Combine Eater. It's a phenomenal place in Toronto. It's not just the food, it's also the ambiance. Yeah. It's very homey, very casual. You walk in, they greet you with a big smile. So whenever you order stuff, you feel like they're going to prepare it with care. Those if you're a part of a family. Half rabble ribs. Oh my god. They just taste like love. Tender rib that just falls off the bone. Really messy, but really delicious. The mess means it's good. Yeah. Lobster fritters. Probably the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> Huge chunks of lobster in it. Crunchiness and savoriness in one single bite. Old school meatloaf. What is it about this meatloaf that you love? Bacon. <laughs> How do you go wrong? It has a beautiful mushroom sauce, and the beans add that little extra spice to the meal. Superb. Next, we're going to do our old school meatloaf. So first, we're going to saute the onions. Olive oil, diced onions, minced garlic, fresh thyme, or dry rub. This is a dry rub you guys make in-house? Yes. Chili powder, onion salt, garlic powder, oregano, parsley. But when that chili hits the heat. Yeah. <clears throat> And we'll set that aside. This is our meat mixture, beef, veal, and pork. Start with the liquid's milk. Milk, OK. okay. Worcestershire sauce, Italian breadcrumbs. Is it Italian because you know I was coming over? Exactly. That's nice of <laughs> Dijon mustard, hot sauce, a couple of eggs. Oh. <laughs> it's better than remote control. Side the onions. It's like a cat, almost. You've just given me a new technique. So a nice size glove. You go like this, so it gives it a cylindrical shape. Mine's a little bigger, I think. It is. <laughs> Still a little too big, but there you go. <laughs> So now we grab the bacon. Okay, you're gonna wrap it. Set it down right in the center. Pinch it right up against the meatloaf. And then fold one half. Okay. You're gonna fold the other one. Okay. Beautiful. You drop it in the pan, cover it with foil. So we bake it for an hour. In the last half hour, we take the foil off. And we're gonna make our gravy. Our stock, done with veal bones, beef paste, some red wine. Boil for a couple of minutes. This is our oil and flour roux. Pour it slowly and we're just keep whisking. Why did I hold it up so high? <laughs> so let's simmer and reduce a little bit. Next, we move on to our baked beans. Large, add in the garlic now. Mix vegetables, carrots, pepper, and celery. Molasses, our barbecue sauce. And mix the white heels and chipotle peppers. There's some smoke as well. Chipotle, chopped cilantro into the beans. Pinto beans, boil it with some bay leaves, bacon, rosemary, thyme, and onions. Garlic mash, get our beans. Milo should be ready now. How cute those are. Unwrap it, plate this on. The sauteed mushrooms, and mix in with the gravy. Our old school meatloaf. Mm, so good. Gravy spectacular. Juicy, tender, wrapped in bacon. What's not to love? Ah, it's so good, man. It's like a hug. That meatloaf is so moist, so much flavor. I love that you use the three different kinds of meat, but then adding that bacon around it adds a saltiness, and then mushroom gravy adds like an earthiness. With some beans there. Mmm. 
They've got smokiness and sweetness from the barbecue sauce, a little bit of heat as well. That's just comfort on a plate. I like this one. Sardon fried chicken sandwich. Super messy. The mess means it's good. Nice little party in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I can have it? Yeah, you can have it. Okay, good. Yeah. Combine to me feels very small town. You'll meet somebody in the neighborhood. It's a happy place to be. I ordered taquitos. Mm. It's crunchy. Mashed potatoes inside. It speaks to my heart. Nice. <laughs> Vignettes. Crispy little donut. Warm and fluffy on the inside. A little bit of ice cream. Perfect. <laughs> we share a napkin too. <laughs> You gotta eat here because it's a home away from home. Amy and Albert are fabulous owners. They're very hospitable. Coming over and saying hi. And it's really the owners that keep us coming back. Sardo fried chicken sandwich. Oh man, the fried chicken is crisp and delicious. The spicy mayo, nice little party in your mouth. Super messy <laughs> and a lot of fun to eat. What are we doing now? Fried chicken sandwich. Yes. First up, marinate our chicken thighs. Buttermilk, saffron, next rosemary and thyme, hot sauce, salt and pepper. Toss it a little bit, marinate overnight. Into the dredge. That's breadcrumbs and flour. It's here somewhere. There it is. Oh, this is gonna be crisp. Dump it in the basket. Takes about 10 minutes. Great. Dress the bun with garlic oil. This is an egg bun. Throw it on the flat top. Fries all ready to go. I can have it. Yeah, you can have it. Okay, good. Yeah. Buns are ready to go. Chipotle mayo. Chicken fries are good now. On the egg bun, our slaw, purple cabbage, red onion, jalapenos, and rice vinegar, dill pickle. The top bun. Fries are ready. Salt. Yeah. There we are. This is our fried chicken sandwich. Mm. Magnificent. The flavors explode in your mouth. The bun is so soft, and when you grab it, it just, oh, it's so good. Oh my god, so moist and juicy on the inside, but oh so crispy on the outside. Marinating it adds so much flavor right to the chicken. Then you've got acidity from the pickles and the slaw. That chipotle mayo adds a little bit of heat. And then this egg bread is just so soft. I'm so happy right now. I can eat fried chicken all the time. Hey. You know what I do? <laughs> I do eat fried chicken all the time. <laughs> you gotta eat here.